What's going on my dudes, One Step here, helping you today to really understand how to master Chameleon, especially from the beginning. I've had so many comments be like, I really wanna learn Chameleon, but she's just so intimidating, having all three of those versions of herself. Like, how do I play around that? What can I do to actually get her down? She is one of the best, if not the best cameos in the entire game, so I think everybody should learn her. I mean, she's just so compatible with basically any character. So let me help break it down for you and get the basics and fundamentals down of Chameleon so you can pick her up and put her with your main character and i promise you're gonna love her she is so much fun so subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content and let's get into it i'll even show you a few fights online and express my thoughts as i'm playing so you can get an idea of kind of like what's going through my brain in the fight and how i play and how i've come to master chameleon so first things first about chameleon you have to understand she changes variations about every six six and a half seconds or so and it's always the same it goes katana melina jade katana melina jade so basically right now we are in katana Katana variation. I know I'm gonna have a game plan around Katana, which is gonna change to Melina. There it goes. So if I have a game plan right now with Melina, right, which I'll tell you why in a minute, uh, during a combo, let's say, I had to think, okay, at the end of this combo, she's likely gonna be changing to Jade. So on my knockdown of my opponent, I'm gonna plan on having Jade, not Melina, even though I have Melina right now. You are quite literally thinking one step ahead. <laughs> I said it. You're thinking one step ahead using Chameleon because you gotta be. She changes so quickly that you can't just be using her in the moment. You gotta be using her in the moment and in the future, or at least thinking about the future and going, what's my game plan next? Because here's the biggest thing about Chameleon. You have to have three different game plans, if not more, because you're gonna have at least one game plan, if not more, per variation. So Melina, right here, we have an overhead that's great for mix it's not safe though so keep that in mind but it's also invincible on wake up so that could just be used for a wake up attack launcher we can also extend air combos with it as well so what do you want in the moment do you want the overhead or do you want the air combo extension? Kind of up to you. Those are your game plans with Melina. And as I have Melina, I know upcoming is gonna be Jade. So what's my game plan when I have Jade as a cameo? We have ground combo extension using the glaive here, and that's obviously great. That can be used to like bait out punishes and then go punish them. You can use it as projectile. You can also aim it up or down as well. Or if your opponent is really zoning you out, do forward cameo for the projectile on vulnerability. And this is a great utility. Those are two game plans or more you're gonna have when using jade you're not going to have the overhead you're not going to have the aerial combo extension as if you had melina now katana fan lift can do a couple things right we can get we can get in there meaning like if your opponent trying to zone you out just fan lift get in there overhead like if they're trying to keep you away that's a way to get in or a lot of people use katana fan lift to make you safe on unsafe stuff so a prime example of using uh raid and storm cell here this is super unsafe on block but i can get out of it using the fan lift and now we're safe however if your opponent starts to read that you do it over and over again they might jump and punish you in the air or try to at least so keep that in mind or the fan throw can be projectile or it can be used to extend combos like this So that can be a couple game plans, right? Do I want ground combo extension using the fan throw? Do I want to do an unsafe thing and make myself safe using the fan lift? Because you can't do that if you got Melina or Jade. You see what I'm saying? You're really just playing around Chameleon. You're not making her work for you. You're making yourself work for her because you have to work around her and her variations as she swaps through. It's kind of nice in that aspect though because it alleviates, you know, you having to change it manually. You just let it flow, baby. You just play around what you got in the moment and what you're gonna have. At this point, minimum, you're character has three different game plans because you technically have three different cameos that are always swapping out it sounds like a lot but once you master those three different game plans it's like cool i got jade i'm gonna try to go for a ground combo extension oh it's switched okay i'm gonna wake up do an unsafe move get out of it or use the fan lift to extend combos like this that can be used for a lot of special moves in the game. There are so many different ways to go about her moveset and like what she offers different characters. That's why she's my favorite. And that's why she's, in my opinion, top five, if not the best cameo in the game. So much utility, so many moves. Now, let me go online, do a couple of fights, and I'm going to talk out loud as I fight and express what's going through my brain when it comes to Chameleon and how am I going to use her in the fight. And here's what I mean by that. Let's get into the fight. All right, Luke Kang's gonna try, either try to zone or go for the Serena combo. So we've got fan lift, get in there with projectile, overhead it. He blocked it. All right, we got Molina, low mix, low overhead. He called it, but also didn't block it, I guess. Okay, we got Jade coming up. We're gonna go for the low glaive here. Uh, it's fine. We'll poke him. Go for the overhead. He's blocked low. Perfect. Jump in. Oh, I was gonna go for the grab. Like this. Why did I let go of block? All right, we got Molina for the uh, overhead. Again, we just threw it out there and it kind of worked. Hilarious. Okay. 
We're gonna throw this out and then go for the overhead. It's fine. Oh, I, I know it's a low too. I don't know why he just didn't block that. Oh, okay, we got Molina. Um, I knew that was coming. He's still my gun. Low mix, perfect. See, low overhead? And Raiden's great because he's got low, 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 or low, low, or we can just go low overhead. So we can put the overhead anywhere in those lows, and it's awesome. Pull it out just because YOLO. All right, what for the guy? We got the fan lifts. We're gonna projectile then fan lift. So jump away, projectile, fan lift, overhead. Yep, perfect. We're gonna extend the combo with Molina here. There we go. Let's just return. Mm, we're gonna grab him. He's mocking too much, Kiri. He's gonna be far away. We're gonna do the projectile invulnerability now. Oh, I would change. Prime example of when you think she's not gonna change and she totally does. You booch. We got the low overhead mix up. Nope, we got glaive now. It's fine with me. Overhead. I'm gonna go for the glaive again. There it is. There's the glaive. Into a brutality. Yeah, baby. Ooh, you see what I'm saying? You gotta be always changing your game plan on the fly. And there are times where you think, okay, I'm gonna have Melina and then psych, she's Jade now. So it's like, ah, those are the very rare ones, but we'll catch you off guard. You gotta be really diligent on watching her change or seeing that blink come in. Okay, we got Melina, go for the mix. What am I doing? Why did I not do that? Oh, he switched it. Fair, I didn't even realize that. You dirty boy, switching it up on me, I see. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, you win that fight? Get out of that for free. Oh, I guess not for free. Okay. Oh, we got the Molinas. We're gonna go for the low mix. Ready? I knew it, baby. I knew it. I called the low. Let's go, Blave. Should have more. Oh, he called the overhead. Why don't I not just punish that completely, bro? We got the low mix coming. Fight he grabbed. Uh, we're gonna teleport behind him, do a overhead. Oh, I see. I thought we had Melina still. Ah, oh, son of a gun. Dude, I am messing that up so hard. Throw in the overhead. Like, why not? I mean, it's not safe, so we shouldn't be doing that all the time. But I mean, you know. What am I doing? Get Farah out of here. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Get out of this for free. Do the chip damage. It's fine. Oh, I thought we could interrupt that. We gotta do before the seven seconds. To, we have seven seconds. I had to do that. I, I wanted to do a longer combo, but we have to do this because uh, the timer went around now. We're not gonna kill him off this, but I mean, maybe we will. No, we won't. No, we won't. But we, then we gotta survive for seven seconds. Yes. We got the low mix. We're gonna go for the low mix for Melina or Jade. And that works. Yeah, when that low connects and she switches like that, it's fine with us because we can continue that combo even with the Jade Glade. Okay, let's do a projectile overhead. Oh, nope. Let's do the fan lift. Oh, shit. I thought I could get out of there. I thought I called that. Yep, you go for the poke and then the overhead immediately. They never expect that. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's make uh, projectile invulnerable. I want to get zoned out. Dude, what do you do when you see me, don't you? Oh, that was stupid. Ugh. I need to get out of that pressure. Can you teleport? Low mix, ready? Perfect, low overhead mix. Full combo off of that. We got Jade coming up. We're gonna throw the glaive out there because yellow, give him pressure, jump in, overhead. Block it all, uppercut, because we got the high. Ooh, okay, we're gonna do, this. do it again. Yes, yes. I was gonna use it to get out of that with, you know, safety, but we ended up just getting the damage and we won. So you can see how like on a hard knockdown like that, uh, as soon as you see Chameleon either soon gonna change or changing, your game plan's gonna change as you give the pressure on their wake up. So if I do this and it hits, now I can decide, do I wanna do the glaive? Or projectile vulnerability. Or if I'm full of screen, do I throw a projectile, then fan lift for the overhead? There's a lot of options you can go with that. You can do the unsafe stuff, get out of it. I hope it helped you guys see me in action, like what's going through my brain as I use Chameleon. It does seem like a lot on the surface. I promise once you get that down, like the different game plans and swap them between them throughout the fight. No, it sounds hard, but it's pretty easy actually. Once you get that down, oh dude, she is so much fun to use. And again, any character really benefits off of Chameleon. She's just that good. With that being said, guys, let me know your thoughts down below on Chameleon. 
million as a cameo do you use her did this video help you let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more